Sales open seven days a week, and the rides are only a dollar. Solo performers often have great longevity in the spotlight. Look at violinist Isaac Stern, who recently passed away. He was still thrilling audiences well into his 70s. But ensemble performers are more likely to suffer from a changing cast of characters. That's not the case with Portland's own Floristan Trio. The world-renowned trio has been called one of Oregon's musical treasures. Mike Pippi takes a look at what has kept this group of talented performers together. <laughs> For 25 years, these three people have sat down together to create beautiful music. Harold Gray on piano, Carol Sindel on violin, and Hamilton Chaffetz on cello make up the Floristan Trio. All three joined the faculty of Portland State University in 1977 as artists in residence. They quickly found a home, and today they continue to maintain full-time teaching schedules while they perform, touring the United States and beyond. They've become internationally recognized for their brilliant and dynamic playing. Like Former chair of the music department, John Trudeau, was responsible for bringing the trio to Portland. He thinks he knows the secret to the group's longevity. They have a great sense of humor, all of them, which I think, you know, is one of the things that's kept them together, you might. And they all are uh, reasonable people, that is, on musical matters, I've seen them rehearse, and they're willing to compromise or look, at least try the other person's uh, ideas about interpretation. And that's very essential if you're going to have a group that's going to stick together for any length of time. You know what else we might consider? What? Coming down a little bit here. Um... That's nice. What do you think? Let's try it short, try? but not accented. Okay. And see if we like All right. Thinking about that accent. Any performance ensemble has to have an almost instinctual understanding of each other as artists, especially in chamber music where there's no conductor. You have to work together seamlessly. But you can't stay together for 25 years without learning a few things about each other's personality, too. Carol is, is just great to, she's always great to be with. She always has an upbeat sense of humor, no matter what's happening, no matter how drastic it gets. No matter how inappropriate. <laughs> or inappropriate, good. See, it's, it's, what can I well, say? <laughs> you can't take me anywhere. <laughs> and she plays well one hell of a violin. She does. You bet she does. That's why we they know keep that. me. <laughs> Hamilton is a treasure. His name means gem. Chavitz in, in, in Russian or in Hebrew means a gem. And he is usually <laughs> a gem <laughs> and always a great cellist <laughs> and colleague. Mm -hmm. Over the 25 years, regardless what's going on, Harold has been sort of the rock who has, uh, who has maintained such a beautiful equilibrium and absorbed all the body blows that have been flying uh, in the direction of uh, who knows where. So I think that's one of the secrets to our group, that, uh, that there's a balance in the kind of uh, people we are and the kind of personalities we have. And so... so Harold is like a perfect friend and colleague. Play from here. As dedicated as the group is to performing and recording, each member is equally as dedicated to teaching. I know that you love to teach as much as you love to play. What is the driving force behind you teaching? What keeps you, what's your fire underneath that? My interest in the students. Uh, they're all, no matter what the level, they're all just wonderful people. I, I'm very fortunate in being able, somehow, I've been able to choose terrific students. And um, with the younger ones, it's a whole um, kind of a family 
relationship. I, I get to know the parents and the siblings and the dogs and the cats. Um, and of course, with the older ones, it's, uh, um, you know, it's a, it's a very uh, important, intimate kind of relationship. It, I guess it had no vibrato and it was kind of, you know, a little macho maybe. So you, can you do the bar before and just warm it up a little as you go in? For me, it's always been a search for how to play with more expression and to understand music in a deeper way. And, uh, so a lot of what I do with my students is to help them technically with the instrument to relax and to get comfortable so they can play well and skillfully, but also I hope that I, I can open them up to the possibilities of uh, color and, and uh, singing from within when you play the cello. Keep the left hand light. This is very dolce now. Bring out the right hand, but keep the left hand down. You're with orchestra here. This wonderful, wonderful change to E flat. If I can, can help someone understand the music, and if I can bring out the individual personality traits that help them convey that music in a certain way, that's what I love about teaching. And I wouldn't, I really wouldn't want to. Uh, be only an administrator, only a performer, only a teacher. I think all of those things for me go together, especially right now in my life. And after 25 years of working together as PSU colleagues and performers, the three know that they are lucky to be where they are, enjoying the best of both worlds. Most musicians, if they could choose what they would like to do as a steady kind of occupation, would want to play chamber music. And that's why we're so fortunate that uh, that that's really the job description <laughs> outside of the teaching that, that we're required uh, and, and have the privilege of playing chamber music so much. You can catch the Floristan Trio October 21st at Lincoln Hall on the PSU campus. This is a very special concert celebrating the group's 25th anniversary. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster, the PSU box office, and at the door. Okay, Casey, $64,000 question. Where does the name Floristan come from? Get out your checkbook. It's an ancient name that was used by composer Robert Schumann, and it means outgoing and heroic. You know your stuff. Oregon Artbeat thrives on trying to take you inside the creative process. Choreographers Jamie Hampton.